Paul Bartolotta. So here we are sitting in Lake Park Bistro and certainly early memories of my childhood was watching Julia Child on television and then as I traveled in Italy and in France and came back to the United States, I was the chef of a restaurant in New York and I had the great fortune of cooking for Julia Child at San Domenico in New York. Um, and that was the first time I met her and you know, actually walking to the table, one of the great things about cooking in New York was the fact that there were so many recognizable people in the restaurant on any given day, but clearly one of the most memorable experiences when Julia Child walked in and then I heard that she was in the restaurant, I was in the kitchen and we were super busy and literally she came to the kitchen door um, uh, and knocked on the door and I turned around and there was Julia Child standing in front of me and she said, I'm so excited to eat in this restaurant. I've heard so much about this restaurant. I wanted to meet the chef. I always like to meet the chef. I want to know who's cooking my dinner. And so um, I was just turned around, this young, you know, 27 year old kid and there was Julia Child in front of me. And so I was like, wow. I said, yeah, I'm introduced myself and said I really am so happy and pleased to have you in my restaurant I can't wait to cook for you and show you what we're doing and she was very nice and complimentary and then several years later uh, almost eight ten years later I hadn't really seen her and I got a call from a journalist in Chicago um, William Rice to let me know that Peter Kump who was founding member with Julia of the James Beard Foundation was coming into town I believe she was on a book tour or something um, and they came into the restaurant, very short window, um, for lunch. And she said, we're very, very frenetic, we don't have a lot of time, but I, I remember you, I wanted to eat your food, I asked Bill where I should go, and he said I should come here. And so, and I was friends with Peter Kump from the Beard Foundation, the original president. And I said, I'm so happy to have you guys, whatever, let me make something for you. And I said, how would you like just the simplest dish? I make you a simple salad and a bowl of the most traditional classic tortellini alla bolognese. And she's like, wonderful, wonderful, you know. And so, so she sat down, she said, we must have a glass of wine, we must have a glass. So we brought her a glass of Barbera and I served her these uh, very, very traditional tortellini uh, alla bolognese. And literally she ate the tortellini and at the end she's kind of running out the door, where's the chef, where's the chef? And I came out to say goodbye and she goes, I felt like I was in Bologna. I've never had tortellini in my life. And she was always very gracious, probably too gracious, but she was extremely complimentary and again, crystallized in my mind. And since then I had relationships with all these people through her that she was sending me people uh, in my days at Spiaggia. And then while I was still in Chicago, I recall getting this uh, phone call from friends of mine, uh, George Bombaris and Sarah Stegner over at the Ritz Carlton saying that Julie was coming in to do uh, a birthday party, a part of, of her birthday, I think it was her 90th birthday uh, tour. Um, and she was coming in and she hand selected, hand picked the chefs in Chicago that she wanted. And of course she said, see if Bartolotto will make the tortellini in Braudo. And, and at the time it kind of was out of season, whatever. And I said, I'll make it, but can I also make something else? So we ended up making two dishes that evening. We made a terrine of tortellini in Braudo, but then we made this um, traditional uh, steak, uh, bistecca alla Fiorentina, Florentine steaks with rosemary and beans and porcini mushrooms. Um, and probably one of the great delights was uh, at, the, at the end of the meeting, I had forgotten to grab one of her cookbooks to bring with me. So then she grabbed uh, one of her books, she signed and said, oh, here, you have to have one of my books. And I said, thank you. I had one at home I was going to have, bring and I forgot it. And she goes, well, we have to do more than that. We have to do more than that. And she goes, take off your chef coat. I was like, excuse me? She's like, take off your chef coat. And I'm like, okay. So I unbuttoned my chef's coat and had, you know, see, you know, Julia Child on it, whatever else, and she, she laid it down and she put this great, amazing signature on it and this will be forever one of the great mementos that I have in my life. So clearly a person that is, was really one of the great individuals, great personalities, great people in the food world, but she definitely changed food in America, no doubt.